sometimes my clients talk about being confident in what they say and being able to be credible and this has to do also with you being clear about what it is that you want unless you're clear about what you want and you can articulate it very simply you can't have it you can ask yourself a question which is an NLP neurolinguistic programming question which presupposes that you should have it already so you could say how is it possible that I don't have it now this is an important question to ask yourself because ultimately you'll find out what's stopping you from being clear, what's stopping you from communicating, what's stopping you from being credible and being committed or uh, purposeful, intentional, influential. How is it? How is it possible that I don't have it now? And in this outcome frame, which is a neurolinguistic programming frame, for an outcome is to ask yourself some questions like begin to look at if you can clearly articulate is what it is that you want what would you like describing it if you can't find the words because sometimes our brain cannot find words to what our heart wants so you put your hand on your heart and you might say what is it that I feel and how can I find the language around this? What is it that I want? Be really clear. Feel it. Describe it. Notice if it's just you and by yourself or there's other people involved. Begin to really spend time being clear about what it is that you want. If you're struggling to even find out what it is that you want, you will notice the obstacle. You will notice what's stopping you. And this affects your credibility because sometimes we have one foot in and one foot out. That means we want something, but we cannot commit to it because we value something else. It always has a positive intention. Sometimes your voice does not speak confidently because one part is going in one direction and in the other side, on the inside, there's something holding you back. Now, the holding back is going to always be something that's protecting you. It has a positive intention. However, you need to acknowledge it, recognize it, make peace with it, accept it, work on it, whatever it takes, reflect and acknowledge it. And then is to realize that you're valuing that more than the other. And that's why you're struggling to communicate effectively. So this is more mindset. It'll show up in your voice, it'll show up in your gestures, it'll show up on your body presence. So one part of you is wanting to say something and the other part of you is holding you back. So presuppose, how is it? How is it possible that I don't have it right now? And what is it that I want? If you struggle to communicate that to yourself, first and foremost, how are you ever going to know what other people want? And how are you going to speak and speak into that comfortably and freely and in a flow passionately? You can't because you haven't got your want sorted out yet. So spend a bit of time really acknowledging what's stopping you. What is it that you want? And get back to where you're really at. And that is always what is it that you're valuing more? And as you acknowledge that and bring that to light, and that you uh, reflect on that, you clear up the uncertainty within yourself, ultimately it leads you to stronger and more um, passionate and intentional conversations. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to this recording. I hope it has helped you. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.